In this study, we wanted to explore how prevalence rates for mental health conditions experienced by teacher candidates going into the field of special education compared with prevalence rates for adults in the United States. Special education can be a very stressful profession. If teachers going into the field of special ed do experience higher prevalence of mental health conditions compared to the general U.S. population, that could be incredibly helpful information that could guide teacher prep programs in better preparing teacher candidates for their future careers. The purpose of this study was to survey teacher candidates majoring or intending to major in special education within the state of Illinois about their mental health. For each of the six mental health conditions listed here, we were interested in whether or not participants felt personally affected by the condition, whether they have an official diagnosis, whether they are currently receiving treatment, or whether they have received treatment in the past. In order to participate in the study, participants needed to be undergraduate or graduate students currently attending colleges and universities within the state of Illinois, and they needed to be majoring or intending to major in the field of special education. We had a total of 334 respondents, which was awesome. Uh, 273 were included in the final data analysis because they had responded yes to the question inquiring whether or not they were currently enrolled in a teacher ed program, majoring or minoring in special ed. When asked to provide an overall rating of their personal mental health, the average response was a four on a zero to six scale. When participants were asked to rate their overall stress levels uh, on a zero to six scale, the average response was just over a four, indicating fairly high levels of stress. When asked about major depression, 27% of respondents said that they were personally affected by it, and almost 20% said that they had an official diagnosis. Six and a half percent of respondents uh, reported that they felt personally affected by a bipolar disorder, uh, whereas about two and a half percent reported to having an official diagnosis. When asked about anxiety, 63% of participants responded that they felt personally affected by it, and 27% reported having an official diagnosis. Eleven percent of participants responded that they felt personally affected by post-traumatic stress disorder, and almost 4% reported having an official diagnosis. Almost 16% of participants said that they felt personally affected by OCD, and just over 5% reported having an official diagnosis. When asked about schizophrenia, a total of two respondents said that they felt personally affected by it, and one, one participant reported having an official diagnosis. Here we have a comparison between prevalence rates for adults in the U.S. compared to survey respondents who reported currently having a diagnosis for the condition. Um, and highlighted in blue are the conditions for which survey respondents had a much higher uh, percentage than average.
survey respondents reported feeling personally affected by five out of the six mental health conditions at higher rates than would be expected when compared to average prevalence rates in the U.S. Findings from this survey certainly indicate that special education teacher candidates may experience higher prevalence of mental health conditions compared to the general U.S. population. A key implication from these findings is that special education teacher preparation programs really need to start thinking about possible changes and revisions in order to better prepare, support, and meet the needs of their students who experience mental health conditions. Thanks for listening. I really hope that you found this survey and the survey results to be as interesting as I did. Have a great day.